DEB 2018 paper question 3B. Okay, a particle is projected from O up a line of greatest slope of the plane with initial speed U at an angle. Now this is wrong. You can see in the marking scheme, they completely go back at it. So it's just an angle of theta to the plane. Okay, or another way of saying it is an angle of theta plus pi over six to the horizontal. Okay, so basically they, they mucked up their their question here from the beginning. So this is a this is your standard uh, your standard uh, angle here, okay? And we know that the, it's it's pi over six, which is at uh, thirty degrees. Pi over six is thirty degrees. So for now on, I'm treating this like thirty degrees. Okay, they're just trying to be smart here, and that'll be pi plus thirty degrees to the horizontal, which means pi. Oh, sorry, which means theta to the to the to the to the incline. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our gravity triangle, which I will do in green. Gravity acts straight down, and then you have your parallel and your perpendicular, like so. so that's theta. So this is a g. This will be g sine 30. This is g cos 30. We all know g cos 30 to be root 3 over 2g. And g sine 30 to be a half g. I always check. Never be complacent with those numbers. Just in case. Yep, we got them right. Okay. Next thing. We're going to do our four moves. Okay, so we're going to break up u. We can see u here. Theta again. So we're going to have a u cos theta and u sine theta. Okay. Now it strikes the plane horizontally. This means that the landing angle is the same as the angle. The landing angle is 30 degrees because it's the same as the angle of the wedge. So tan, tan 30 will equal minus Vx Oh, sorry, minus Vy over Vx at time of flight. So you're minus Vx at time of flight. So we have to find the time of flight. Then we have to find out what Vx and Vy are at the time of flight. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to start making our equations. We'll start off with Vx. Vx is u cos theta. And then take away a half gt. Vy is u sine theta. As you can see, sine theta is the j component. So it's u sine theta minus, uh, what do we have here? Root 3 over 2g. Gt. Uh, Sx, which we won't need, but look, we'll do it anyway, is ut cos theta. And then it's minus a half gt squared, so it's a half of what's already there, so it's going to be a quarter gt squared. And then Sy which is a u t sine theta, half the root three over two to get root three over four g t squared. Now, what we're going to be doing next is to get the time of flight, we're going to use s y equals zero. So this means we bring the g t squared over to your side. So we're going to get u t sine theta equals root three over four g t squared the t's will cancel like so and then we're going to cross multiply up and we're going to get 4 u sine theta then we're going to divide it by the root 3 g and we find out that's the time of flight the tof and look that's it there okay so we're at this stage here now we got to get the vx and vy parts so we're going to do vx first Vx is going to be u cos theta, so it's u cos theta, minus a half g times 4u sine theta, all over root 3 g. Okay, so the root 3's cancel, I'm oh, sorry, the g's cancel, and then it's going to be uh, 2u sine theta. So it's 4 divided by 2 is 2u sine theta over root 3. I'm going to multiply this one top and bottom by root 3 as well to give it a common denominator. Okay. So you'll see that in a second. So it's going to be root 3u cos theta 
all over root 3. So v of x at the time of flight is going to be root 3 u cos theta minus 2u sine theta all over root 3. Okay, is that all right with you guys? Alrighty. So, let's, uh, let's keep going here. So, what are we going to do next? Next, we are going to use, uh, we're going to have to find Vy, using a similar trick to what we just did there a second ago. So, we'll do on this side here in purple. Vy equals u sine theta minus root 3 over 2 g times the time of flight, which is 4u sine theta over root 3 g. The root 3 g is cancelled, so we're going to get u sine theta minus 2u sine theta. And Vy at the time of flight is just going to be minus u sine theta. So there it is there. Okay, happy enough with that. Now finally, we're going to say that tan 30 degrees equals uh, tan 30 degrees, which is, uh, I think it's root 3 over 3 when you put it into the calculator. All right, we'll leave as that then. All right, root 3 over 3, no bother. It's equal to v minus Vy over Vx. So minus Vy is u sine theta over Vx will be root 3 u cos theta minus 2 u sin, minus 2 u sine theta all over root 3. Now this root 3 can make its way to the top we want. There we are. Now, anytime you have a number divided by a fraction, let's say 2 divided by 3 quarters, I can bring the three quarters up to the top and just turn it upside down to four over three. So I'm going to suggest we do a similar method here where I'm going to move, turn this upside down. So it's going to be root three times the u. So it's going to be root three u sine theta. And then it's still going to be divided by the root three u cos theta minus two u sine theta. And that's going to equal root three over three. I'm going to cross multiply this. So root 3 times root 3 u cos theta will just simply be 3 u cos theta when you multiply this one by this one. And when you multiply this one by this one here, it's going to be minus 2 root 3 u sine theta. And then grab this 3 here and multiply it by the 3 u sine theta. So you get 3 root 3 u sine theta get all the sine thetas over one side so it's going to be 3u cos theta and what are we trying to find again We're trying to find the value of tan theta so that is the plan determine the exact value of tan theta so we're trying to find out what tan theta is so we're going to have when you bring this over it's going to be plus 2 root 3 sine theta so it's going to be 5 root 3 sine theta bring the cos theta underneath cancel the u's so it's going to be sine theta over cos theta ends up to be 3 divided by 5 root 3 sine theta i oh, sorry just that and then tan theta we put this into the calculator 3 divided by 5 root 3 root 3 over 5 is the answer that's what it wants for me okay and in the marking scheme yeah it's root 3 over 5 okay and we're done